What's up guys, welcome to this episode of Texas Redfish Hunter TV. Today I'm actually going to be bringing you a video that I shot a couple weeks ago and it's of me making a DIY kayak camera mount without drilling into your kayak. It's actually a mount that I designed and drilled into the milk crate which is something I always have at the back of my kayak and I don't like drilling into my kayak so I avoid it at all costs but I wanted a camera mount that's very sturdy that's not going to go anywhere and that I can you know put apart, pull apart, and put back together really quickly when I'm, you know, packing up or getting out onto the kayak. And I know a lot of you guys want to be able to film yourself out when you're out there kayak fishing. So I thought this would be helpful to just kind of film a DIY for you guys of how I film and the mount that I use for my, uh, for my cameras and for chorus cameras. And it's a really easy mount to do. And I'm going to show you guys that now. So the first two things that you need to make this mount are a Scotty bracket mount this is something that is very useful. It has a lot of different attachments that can go on to this thing. And I'm going to utilize it because a half inch PVC will fit very, very snugly into this mount. So that is going to be kind of the base where your mount's going to go and your camera's going to mount to here. This is an end cap to the half inch PVC. There's a lot of different mounts that you can make for this. Uh, what I'll probably do for the GoPro is use a GoPro mount, tape it onto the top, and kind of just duct tape it into place. That way it doesn't move, it's not going to go anywhere while you're on the kayak, and it's a very easy way to do it and never have to worry about it again. The Ion has a little bit different mount, and I'll show you guys that later. The next thing you need is a 12 inch block of wood. You can go to Home Depot, buy a 2x4, and have them cut it to 12 inch lengths. 12 inches is what fits into the milk crate. If your milk crate's a little bit different size, you're going to want to size this to your milk crate. But now, I'm going to put on my action hat, POV, with my GoPro Hero 4 session that I'll talk about later, and I'm going to show you DIY how this is done. So the first thing you're going to do is take your 12 inch block of wood and you're going to slide it into the milk crate. You're going to want to size this to the crate that you have. They're all usually 12 inches. So if you, snug, if you, if you cut them correctly, they should fit very snugly into the bottom of the milk crate. Again, this is just a good way to mount to this so you don't have to mount to your kayak itself and drill holes into your kayak. What you're going to want to do is take number 10 by one and a half inch screws, uh, wood screws. You can use different size screws, but basically all you're going to do is make sure that this piece of wood isn't going to move. So you're going to just drill in to the side of the milk crate, making sure you line it up with the block of wood. So you're just going to take your drill and drill into the milk crate. There's one. Flip it over. And do the same thing on the other side. Alright, so now that those are tight, your block of wood is not going anywhere. So now you're going to be taking your Scotty bracket mount. You're going to be using the number 10, one and a half inch screws to screw this thing to that block of wood. And you want to make sure it's pretty centered where you want it. I recommend kind of moving it a little bit farther back so it sits to the back of the milk crate. That's going to give you the best angle. And you want to use like number 10 because they fit into the holes and they don't go all the way through. So they're really good screws to use for these Scotty ram mounts. So I'm just going to put this in place. And this is pretty much where I want it. And drill it in. There we go. There's one. And now I'm just going to do that for the other four. So now your Scotty bracket mount is on your block of wood that is screwed in and that is not going anywhere. So that's a really easy mount to do. I'm going to take my PVC that I will eventually have the camera on top of it and just fit it snugly in there. And you're going to want to use Scotty because Scotties are the ones that fit very snugly with this half inch PVC. 
um, and then of course put your camera there and even if you turtle and you spin over your camera is not gonna go anywhere see that beautiful of course kayak has this very same thing uh, way of mounting and what's great is you can add however you want, high you want it you can go and get a coupler like this put it in and this is what I actually do for mine because I want a higher camera mount and now you're gonna get that to fit snugly in there and you have the coupling and now it's a really high one so it's gonna sit up and you're gonna get a downward angle so that's pretty much that and then what I'll probably end up doing is you know duct taping this just to make sure that it doesn't uh, you know come apart you could even super glue it I'm just gonna do that myself and then of course add the camera mount to the top so that's a very easy mounting system to mount to your crate so you don't have to mount to your kayak alright so now I'm gonna show you how I mount a camera to this half inch PVC I start with an end cap and I'm going to do this kind of a cheating way to mount a GoPro to it. But I'm going to use the GoPro mount that you know has the sticky end, the 3M side, uh, and one of the GoPro mounts to it. I'm going to take, obviously take this sticky side off and I'm just going to mount it straight to the top of the end cap. That gives it a good surface area to stick to. Now this is really sticky stuff but I don't necessarily trust it completely. So we're gonna use trusty duct tape to finish the job and wrap it around here, making sure not to get any duct tape in where that GoPro actually slides into. All right, so there it is. It's really simple, easy, but that is not going to go anywhere. It's a very sturdy mount. It's flat. It's going to be perfect for this. So then I take your GoPro, slide it in, screw it down. And what's great about this mount is you can tilt it up and down in any way you need it to go to film anything you needed to film. And again, it slides right in to that mount we made earlier. So there it is in all its glory. So another way to do it is, this is how we have one of the ions mounted, is use a quarter 20 screw and locking nut and screw it through the top of the end cap. The quarter 20 is a good size uh, the 20 size screw is what the ion uses as a mounting bracket and the mounting bracket actually broke on this ion so this was a way to fix it by using a 20 screw through the end cap so this makes a perfect mount this one does not tilt so this one in Chorus Kayak sits lower uh, like about there but that's perfect for the height that it needs to be to show everything she needs to show so GoPro actually also uses these number 20 screws in a lot of their mounts. So it's another way to make a very sturdy mount uh, for the half inch PVC. If you want uh, any tips, just go ahead and email me or shoot me a comment and I'll explain to you kind of how to do that. I don't really want to, it's not too hard. So I don't think I need to go into it here to show you how to screw in a screw into the top of an end cap. So here is the final product in all its glory. You can see with the eye on there, here's the GoPro mount that was finished. And that's on the long extended pole. So this is going to give you higher views. So I'm going to show you the lower view from Cora's camera and the ION. I'm going to show you what it looks like on the high view from my camera so you guys can see what the view looks like when you have this thing mounted.
to see that clip in its entirety, you're going to have to check out the channel and check out the videos on the channel. But here is what the higher mount looks like. I have it tilted up a little bit. Uh, this is going to basically see everything around you. It's going to give you a wider range of view, and you can tilt it down at yourself as well to see more of you and the kayak if you wanted to. Flounder. Oh! <laughs> he didn't have the hook in him. Is it not? Mine is. So as you can see from this higher mount, you get a little bit more of the water view and you can see the flounder and you can see it as it gets off. Another advantage of having this high mount is the ability to stand and still get video of you while you're standing. So that's why I use it. I stand up a lot when I'm fishing and it really makes for a good way to do that. And you can tilt it up and down whether you're standing or sitting and change it on the fly. All right, so there you are. That's the view that you get from this mount. It's a really easy mount to do. The only uh, thing that I was a little bit skeptical on when I was making the mount was how would the wood stand up to getting wet, uh, especially with salt water. And it actually hasn't been an issue. I haven't had a problem with it at all. And I, the way I figure it is, it's such a cheap thing to make. It's so easy to do that if the wood did end up rotting at, over time, uh, it's something that you can just quick unscrew everything out of it and then get a new piece of wood and just screw it right back in. It really takes no time at all. So to me, it wasn't a big issue and it saves me from having to drill into my kayak, which I really didn't want to do. So that's going to be it, guys. If you have any questions, definitely comment below or email me, redhuntertx at gmail.com. I'll answer any questions that you guys have. Check out the other video, which is on the cameras that we use and how we, how we actually film ourselves while we're kayak fishing. Uh, definitely check out the channel as well and you'll see us uh, catching a bunch of fish. If you haven't already, subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.